We're here at the newly renovated Montiel Bean Life Science Museum, where I worked when I was a student at BYU. So I pulled some strings and got special access for a behind the scenes sneak peek. Bee Museum strives to educate people about the relationship between living and non-living things throughout the world. And if you've been to the museum before, you haven't seen it like this because there is so much new stuff. Like this center atrium, which has two new giraffes, which stand 17 feet tall. They came from a collection in Arizona, which is not their natural habitat. It also features the world's largest world. It is the largest, most accurate fiberglass globe in the world. Let's take a look around the museum. When ever in your life would you be this close to a wolf? Not at the zoo, or at least it's not recommended, but at the Bee Museum you can really get close and see all the detail of these creatures. This is the Apex Predator Collection on the top floor of the museum and it discusses the relationship between predator and prey and how they both rely on each other in the balance of life. And you will see things like this that may be a little scary, chasing smaller, fluffier, Bambi-like creatures, but remember, they're just having dinner. And you can really see that whole interaction in detail here at the Bee Museum. Hypothetical situation. You're being attacked by a pack of wolves. What do you do? If you're a musk ox, you get your family together and you stand shoulder to shoulder and you put your babies behind you. It's one example of how prey can protect themselves against predators. Bee Museum. And this scene probably wouldn't happen in nature. It's unlikely, at least. But it was too epic to not show it to you. And this whole Apex Predator collection was donated by one man. He had these mounts in his garage. I don't know what you have in your garage, but it's probably not as cool as this. It took five semi-trucks to get the whole collection here, and you're only seeing a third of it. So you're not seeing two thirds of it. That's how math works. But the museum will be rotating through all of these collections as the months and years go by, so there's always new things to see at the Bee Museum. You gotta keep coming back. Charlotte, the rose-haired tarantula, and I would like to tell you another fun fact about the museum. It is home to millions of specimens housed in research collections right here, and they're used by BYU all the time. That's interesting, right? Yeah. No, this is not someone's food storage. It is a research collection. It's part of a huge and very valuable repository of specimens that the Bee Museum keeps on site for research. It's not open to the general public though, so get a look while you can. Elephant in the room. This exhibit features the African elephant that stands nearly 12 feet high. It also features some threatened, endangered, and extinct species, as well as some of the reasons for their struggle to survive. Spoiler alert, it has to do with humans. So this exhibit is all about how you can protect your planet. Definitely check this one out. This is the Boyd K. Packer Gallery. Interesting tidbit about President Packer. He borrowed birds from the Bean Museum to help make his drawings as accurate as possible. So I thought I would try my hand at it as well. It's a seagull. His are better. As part of its tribute to President Packer, the museum includes this replica of the Packer family den, complete with furniture from the actual Packer family home. I don't know what they're sitting on now, but it's not this. I'm here in the Africa exhibit, which is one of the only exhibits that is carried over from the old museum. I'm here with my good friend Otis, the African spurred tortoise. We had some good times, didn't we? Yeah. Otis is part of the live animal show, which has been going on at the Bee Museum for about 20 years, which is about how old Otis is. And you'll be happy to know that is continuing in the new museum. Hi. 
You had some good times. You ate a lot of carrots. I fed you a lot of carrots. We knew how to party. I don't have any more. I'm sorry. But Otis is a big part of the live animal show. That's not a fat joke. If only he could talk, what stories he would tell. <laughs>